Hello guys, this is Raj. Welcome to my channel. Today I am starting a series of videos on Arduino programming. So in the next few videos, we will learn the basics of Arduino programming using the Arduino IDE. In today's video, we will see the structure of Arduino program and few simple things about it like how we can comment, why we use curly braces and semicolons etc. So before we start, I would like to mention that if you need any more detail or help on this topic, you can head over to arduino.cc and check out the site. It is full of details and very helpful. So let's jump onto it. Open the Arduino IDE and you'll see that a blank sketch is already displayed. Go to file menu, to the examples, basics and blink. A new window is open with the blink program. Let's scroll down. You'll see that the, the program is divided into two methods. One is the setup and another is this loop. Let's discuss about this setup. This method is used to declare your variables and pin modes as well as initialize your serial communication. And this is the first method to run in your program and it will run only once. So once the setup is done, it will go to the next method that is loop. So as the method name suggests, loop means we are looping whatever it is there inside this loop. We are not worried about what is written here and here in this methods, but currently we are just seeing the structure of our Arduino programming. Mind you guys, these two methods are important and without this your program will not work. Of course we can add other methods to it, but we cannot leave these two out. Now as we know about these two methods, Let's go to the other parts in your uh, structure. Curly braces defines the beginning and end of your method. And if you, if you forgot any one of it, then you will see a compiling error. Similarly, we can see that the line is ending with semicolons. So even if you miss this, your program will end up giving you a compiling error. Apart from this, we have a single line comment which is created by using these two forward slashes. So once you give this two forward slash, whatever you write after it is a comment. And if you want to have a multiple line comments, then you can use forward slash star, then end it with star forward slash. And whatever is there in between these two things are all commented. The Arduino ID or the Arduino program will not consider it as code. So that's it from this video guys. We will see some other areas of Arduino programming in my next video. So please watch out for that. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you have any queries and suggestions, please comment it below. I will try to reply back. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, please do so and you will be notified about my next videos. Thank you guys and have a nice day.